Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. On the table today we have a pistol that we reviewed not too long ago and that is the SIG P320 AXG Scorpion. The one on, that's the one on your left. It's the first pistol that, that came out of SIG's newly formed Custom Works shop. It's a pistol that a lot of people had high hopes, expectations, including yours truly here. I've been looking for one of these for quite a while. So when my home away from home, which is Shoot Point Blank in Carmel, Indiana, called me and said, not only have one, but we've gotten three of them. I was floored and rushed over there to see if I could film one and maybe take one home. The pistol on the right is a SIG M18. The regular run-of-the-mill civilian version M18 with a Wilson Combat Grip Module. And we'll look at both pistols quickly. I hope this is not a long video. I tend not to have too much success trying to keep my videos short. Anyway, on the left we got the new offering, P320 AXG from the Custom Shop and Custom Works, I'm sorry. And on the right, the regular M18 with a Wilson Combat Grip Module. And what I wanted to do today, and it's more, more than anything a mental exercise for me, because I own this, I don't own this yet, is if you own this as it sits with a Wilson Combat Grip Module, would you buy this? Or perhaps a bigger question is, if you own this as it sits, would you sell it to buy this. Between us girls, I'm not be, I, I can't answer that question yet, and for the following reasons. Here, without the grip module, we got a price. I think I paid around somewhere around $700 for this pistol. That was, or that's what they were selling for. I actually paid a little bit more than that, but um, it's actually what they were selling for before all this craziness. This, the asking price, retail asking price, is about $1,099. On some of the auction sites, they're actually been selling for $1,200 and higher, and I saw a couple that were asking $3,200 for them. But somewhere to, see, to find them around $1,800, $2,200, somewhere in there is not unusual in the auction sites. So is this worth that much more than this as they both sit? We'll see. If you're hearing some background noise, please, I'm sorry, um, not filming at my, at my usual location. I'm actually at point blank. And the same thing went on the previous video, I told you that on my way in, because it's icy and snowy and 40 mile per, wind, per hour winds outside, I actually dropped the bag that had the light bulbs for my studio lighting. So I'm filming just with the lights that are in the room that I'm in. So my apologies for that, but I'm trying to do the best that I can here. Back to, the, back to the show after that disclaimer. So you got both pistols have been safety checked, but we can do that again now, especially since that one had a mag in there. But it is clear. And the M18 doesn't have a mag, and it's clear. I put this in there because it's got the safety on it, so the, pil the, the pistol tilts a bit. So this comes with a really nice case, as you saw in the video. The M18 just comes with a regular SIG plastic case and it comes with a regular grip module which is this of course with a safety but with the Wilson Combat grip module it's a completely different animal this one comes from the factory with one 17 round mag, mag plus two 21 round mags this comes with three 17 round mags some of the other differences is of course the this is an all metal gun with an aluminum alloy lower and that's why the AXG is Alloy X series grip. So this is aluminum at the bottom, this is polymer in the bottom, both of them have stainless slides and on the AXG the grip panels are Hogue G10 grips that are removable so you can exchange the grips if you want to play around different textures, widths, whatever and the rear panel, looking at here, the rear panel as we said in the previous video is also replaceable. So you can customize this, you can customize that. At the front of it, you got very nice texturing in the front of the grip panel. You got texturing in the front, you got a very high undercut and a nice beaver tail. Here you got the X-ray 3 night sights from SIG with a U-notch in the rear. And uh, you got a really nice bright, let's see if the video will catch it there. Yep, very nice bright front sight there. 
you got on the trigger wise, you got the, I believe the trigger was from the X5 Legion. So it's a skeletonized flat trigger. And, and again, forgive me, the focus is not catching per perfectly, but the light is subpar. But here you hit a wall, then you got some creep there, there, and then you got a break almost at 90 degrees. The slide is very smooth, but then you go back here and the reset, it's, it, you have to wait for it. It's a little bit mushy and there, and then you're at the wall and it breaks. So it is, in my opinion, from what I expected, and maybe I shouldn't be expecting anything, but I thought that SIG from the Custom Workshop, something much better was gonna come out because you've got this here, and again, it's got the Wilson Combat Grip Module, but I love the way this feel, feels in the hand. I really do. It is a fantastic grip module. It does have the safety there, which I'm not crazy about, but it is what it is. You also have this, you have a polymer lower, you do have a stainless steel top. You have night sights, it's not the x-ray night sights, but you've got night sights. So here's a comparison of the sight picture between the M18 on your right and the AXG Scorpion on your left. That's personal preference, which one do you like more? The one on the left seems to be more like an Ameriglow agent type sight with a U-notch rear, which I really, really like. Those are my favorite sights. I prefer them over the SIG that you see on your left. Some people don't like the rear sights of the M18 or the M17. It's just too thick in the back, but that's all personal preference. But that's just letting you take a look at both pistols. From the back, from the side, here the trigger is regular, let the focus catch up, regular P365 trigger. And you've got, it just goes there. You've got a little bit of the, your take up and you hit the wall and then it breaks. I think this breaks better than the Custom Works trigger. And then your reset, it goes there. And there's less mush. I think there's, there's less travel. Look at this. You're there. Look at your reset. There. This trigger actually pushes your finger forward so you can get on the wall again and it breaks right there. Letting the focus catch up. With this, again, you're there. And you look, you're gonna have more mush. There, there, there. And then it breaks. And then from here, you, okay, come on, wait for it, wait for it. And you hear that double click? Listen to it again the focus catch up. No, didn't do it this that time again. Well, it's, it didn't, it did it one time. But between the two triggers, I'm not sure that I like that better. The way it fe this feels in the hand, being a little bit lighter, you may prefer a heavier pistol. It definitely, you can definitely feel the weight, which is what it was designed to do. But I'm really liking, I, I'm not sure that I would be willing to part with this in order to buy that. I actually feel that the trigger here is better than the AXG. Maybe it'll get better as it, you shoot it more and things kind of find their way inside in there and grind a little bit but I'm not sure that it is that big of a difference. Now, the, another difference is the slight, the red dot mount. Here on the AXG, you remove this plate and you retain your rear sight when you install the, the, the red dot. So that is a big plus in the looking at the M18 you remove the plate and the, the rear sight is attached to the plate. So you lose your rear sight. That is, a, that is a big downside for me. So that's a plus on the side of the AXG. Now, the, on the, in the past, the M18s would not accept an RMR. You can accept a Delta Pro or a Sig Romeo. I, th I think it's the Pro 1 or one of those. But with this, it accepts the RMR on the AXG. Now here's another little twist to that little drama. And that is, I, sp I spoke to SIG a few days ago because I wanted to know if they made or if somebody else made 
an attachment for the M18 so I could so it could accept a, a foot the footprint of an RMR. And what they said, they asked me what the serial number is. I gave them the serial number. And what they told me was that the new generation of M18s does accept, does accept the footprint of an RMR. And the way you can tell, the only way you can tell according to them, is you remove the plate and then you're going to find the holes where you would attach the RMR to. And on the older SIG M18s, you would have the sets of holes that would accept the footprint of the Delta Pro or the SIG site. Now they told me that when you remove this plate, and I haven't done that because it's a little bit of a process, but that when you remove this plate in the new generation, that you find several holes. They described it as kind of like the eyeball, the eyes of a fly where you have just a little cluster of holes, that that's what you're going to find underneath this plate. If your M18 has that little cluster of holes, it means that it will accept an RMR. So this one was manufactured according to SIG Christmas Eve 2020. This should be able to accept an RMR. If that is the case, this accepts RMR footprint and so does my M18. This is heavier because it's got the metal lower but the grip module from Wilson Combat, if you can see in there, I'm not sure, probably the light is not going to work, but if you can see those grooves there, see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. There you see the grooves there? So Wilson Combat makes metal plates that go into those grooves. So you can play around the weight of your grip module. You can make it heavier if you wish. So with this, you can play with the weight, you can make it heavier. It is tremendously ergonomic and comfortable. I think you got, if not a better, an equal trigger to that, unless this does a tremendous job of breaking, of breaking it in and, and doing better. They both have the same pick rails. And actually this, the M18, has one more slot than you'll find on the Custom Works. Um, I think that the Custom Works logo that they put in here, how they did it, how this laser engraving was done. It was very, it looks cheap. It looks like, it doesn't look like quality. But anyway, oh, there goes the focus. Sorry about that. I just wanted to do a quick comparison. I wanted to show you both of them and say, what are your thoughts? I want to hear the feedback here. If you own this, would you sell it to buy that? If you don't own any of them, which one would you buy and why? They're saying that this is a, this could be a collector's issue, like I said in my prior video, because it's the first one from SIG Custom Works. Well, yes, but in my experience, and I, I've collected things in the past, is collectors go for product or art that are in limited quantities. Limited quantities give it value in the aftermarket and along the long, long run. SIG said that this is a limited production and for a limited time. Yet, in the same statement, they said that they will make as many as they can sell. It, so that completely blows away the collector market. I'm dating myself, but when the first Acura came out, when Acura first came out with the NSX, their first supercar, I, we all ran out and bought one. It is now we're happiest clams that we had a limited production Acura NSX because Acura said at the time they were going to make a thousand of them. And boy, did they have a hefty premium on them. And then they sold them so quickly and the Japanese manufacturers saw dollar signs everywhere. They just kept making them. So there went the collector market and the cars dropped in value. When, you, when SIG says we're going to make as many as we can produce, but yet again for a limited time and for a limited number of them, both statements don't jive, especially for a collector market. So I'm not banking on this gun being a collector or really increasing in value, especially not with the premiums that they're asking for them right now. 
is this a, a, a twelve hundred dollar gun? Not in my opinion. Is it an eighteen hundred to twenty two hundred dollar gun as the market is commanding right now in some auction sites? Absolutely not. Thirty two hundred, asinine. Six fifty seven hundred. Yeah, 900 with everything, the whole grip module, everything, maybe. Yes, based on, based on what I paid for it, would I sell this for 900? Yes, would I buy it for 900? Yes, would I buy this instead of that? I don't think so. I'm actually a bit disappointed in this offering, to be honest with you. I wanna hear your comments. Thank you very much, I mumbled around and kind of was redundant several times. But thank you for your patience. I'd like to hear your comments. Let me know what you think between these two. Which one would you keep? If you own this, would you sell it to buy that? I wanna know what you think. Thank you for stopping by. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can on Wednesday mornings as well. I'm very active on my Instagram. If you wanna know what's coming down the pipeline for the channel, please do stop by over there. I'd appreciate a follow and you can see what's, what's gonna happen next. One thing that we do need right now from you is for everybody to pray for our country. Thank you very much again, and until the next time, God bless.